spin pretty hard and and um, one day I, I kind of snapped, you know. I kind of realized what I was doing, you know, where I was at. And I, I was just sitting there on my porch one day, and I could, I could see most of the city, most of the east side where I was at. And um, and I, I told, I realized that that I'm alive, you know. It just, it just suddenly hit me after like 15 years, you know. 15 years. I was 15 last year. I was. It just hit me. I'm alive, you know. I could do things. I can get out of here, you know. I don't gotta live like this. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta, gotta do drugs to to feel better. I need to get drunk to get rid of hurts and pains that I had when, ever since I was little, you know. I realized that I can just leave, you know, and and do something with myself, you know. So I, so I turned myself in and I told the cops that I didn't want to live with my mom no more and they sent me back to my reservation, and um, and ever since I lived there, I, I went there and no one wanted me. Um, and I thought I was gonna have to live in a group home or something, you know. No one wanted a teen, so, so like my my uncle came down and he he was the pastor of a church and he was the only one that would take me in. So he took me into his home, you know, and, and he started. He taught me a lot of discipline, you know. He taught me how to be a, a man. He brought me hunting. He he showed me a lot of stuff, you know. And and one of the most important things he showed me was was our Lord Jesus who died for me, you know? When he brought that into my life, you know, I never been sad again. You know, I, I'm not mad no more. I don't gotta get high no more. I ain't gotta get drunk no more. I'm all the way out in Minnesota telling you guys, you know, there's still hope, you know?